All right, look what we got here. A pair of cats. Also, tape machine, 1938. Real to real tape machine. Let's get this thing open. Hey guys, Seibel here, and uh, it's finally here. So this, in this box, is a real to real tape machine that I ordered for a uh, pretty good price, and I got a spare uh, intake reel to come with it. Uh, I haven't opened this up yet. I don't know what shape it's gonna be in. The guy that had it before me was, um, he was using it as a tape, uh, tube amp. So hopefully the reels on this are still good, or the reel spinning things are still good. But bare minimum, the tube's been good. So, without any ado, I'm gonna get into this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna use my utility knife. Ugh. This is 23 pounds of, oh God, you're heavy. I don't know how heavy the modern machines are, but this is uh, extremely vintage. I don't know if I have enough room for this. I'm just gonna put this stuff over here. Ah! <laughs> wait, wait. It's not a descriptor I use for this thing. Mother of God. It's like in the 30s, they built things like tanks or something. Because that was a newfangled technology. Oh, I can't pop them. Um... Yeah, I'm not, uh, I am no longer worried about how much padding they use in this. Because the answer is lots. Once I get this last piece of foam off of this. Oh, big. It's the word I will use for this. Big. Very big, very big. Oh, cool, it's basically a, okay, cool, this is a box that it's in. Oh, this is really cool, okay. Oh, and it has a speaker on the side. I didn't tell What's in the box? There's some tape in this box. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is cool. Hey. Wilcox Gay Special Recordio. Let's get this open. This thing is really cool. It's all rusty and vintage. Oh, thank you, he included the cable. Oh, this is cool. The instruction's still here, it's a little beat. But that's fine. Eh, this has an AM tuner on it. This thing is an AM radio. <laughs> so this is incredibly dirty and probably the most dangerous looking cable I have ever seen in my life. Let's take a moment to appreciate just how dangerous this thing looks. That is held together by electrical tape. I don't know if it's recent, I, uh, I'm gonna be a little wary of plugging this in. Because I'm pretty sure this is, uh, the part that goes in right here. Oh my god, it is. It is the part that goes there. And this goes into the wall. Oh shit. <laughs> okay then. Well, I'm gonna put this aside. This is a really sketchy cable. Now, this is cool. The instruction for this actually lays on top of the, uh, on top of this itself. You're gonna see it a little mirrored in this, but it shows me how to, how to operate the machine. This is actually, oh, that movement is smooth. I was worried I'd have to relubricate these, but this is actually, that one might need to be lubricated. But the, um, the playback one is, is smooth. I just have to worry about the uh, the uptake might be a little rough, but that's easy enough. That's just a matter of popping this panel off, which I believe is fairly simple, and I can clean it. Okay. So this is the Wilcox Gay Recordio, the special Recordio. Uh, the original Recordio model was made in 1938. I don't know what the date is on this one. Let me see real quick. 
This is what I love, by the way. That quarter inch output makes me so happy. At the standards that we use nowadays, because uh, there's another, um, is that an input or an output? Yeah, that's the side one's an output. And I believe that is a quarter inch input, a three five millimeter input. Oh, this is just the coolest thing. It's got two playback speeds. I don't know. This might be, it, it feels like a switch, but it could be gradual. I'm gonna assume that it's a switch and a, a one or two options. So I'm assuming I have my hi-fi, my lower fi options. Most of the damage on this is just superficial. It's just, you know, a few cracks here and there in the plastic, just a little bit of rust, a little bit of to be expected grime. I'm gonna have a field day with this thing. And I will put some recordings up of what I uh, what I come up with with this. I am I am giddy and excited like a schoolgirl right now. And there's my input. There's a quarter inch, five millimeter input. Right? That is, that is what that is, right? Oh, I love it when standards don't change. Yeah, five millimeter cable works on that. That makes me happy. I don't have to do any fancy wiring, no nonsense to get it to work. Other half here, my uptake reel. Um, I'm not gonna set it up just yet. I'm gonna give it a good cleaning first, just your damp cloth, compressed air kind of cleanup. Cause it definitely needs that and that won't damage anything or degrade the value of the product in any way shape or form i will however at least put the uptake reel on it just to uh get an idea of the size i bought seven inch reels for this i'm actually not all too familiar with working with uh hi-fi but my understanding is the machine can take both seven inch and five inch reels okay um I guess the logical next step is to uh, take the highway into the danger zone and plug this in and hope I don't burn the apartment down. Hell yeah! Oh no. Oh boy. I am genuinely scared to plug this in. Cause do you, do you see this jank? This is an extremely janky cable. Oh. There's nothing. If I die, it's on tape. This is seriously the most nerve-wracking thing in the world. This is this is your this is your cable. Oh boy, I'm just gonna plug it into my power strip down here. And uh, Godspeed. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't die. Okay. Ooh. I can I can actually see I can't really Ooh. Ah, Okay. It works. You can see the tubes is heating up down here. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so this is, this side's my intake, and that's my, no, no, I was right, I was right. So this is where my main reel's gonna go. Uh, stop. Where's the recording head? Oh, wait, what? My tape goes through here. I was trying to figure that out. So that means if I if I were to take a screwdriver and pull this panel off, this thing is noisy. I don't know if you can hear just how noisy this thing is. Let's do something stupid real quick. I have no idea how loud this is. But let's be stupid. Uh oh. I may need to run this through an amp first, actually. Uh... <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. 
I can output something to this machine. Ominous. Ah, I have my preamp. There's an option. I knew I had one more of these kicking around. Okay, okay. Now I'm ready to I'm ready to go full retard. Let's do this. Let's do this the fun way. FL Studio, let's go! I didn't think this one through. We're gonna make this work one way or another. It's the fun part where you just spend 20 minutes troubleshooting a problem instead of actually using your equipment. Okay, so the dangerous noise has been reduced. Let's try this. Oh, I'm getting zapped. That's, that's a lot of voltage running along this wire, I think. I, I was getting shocked by that. Okay, let's, let's try this and hopefully not die. I seem to figure out how to get this guitar to be audible through this. Oh, I see. To record, you have to hold down the record lock down here. I just want to announce that I'm an idiot, and the reason why this isn't working is because I was routing absolutely zero audio out. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. plug my bass into this. I need to hear how smooth that this is. Cause that was, that was unexpectedly nice. Yeah, I gotta hear what my bass sounds like. I need to find out. I must know. I must know. What does my bass sound like? Hell yeah. Check it out, it's my friendly's bass. Ah. All right. I, I am not a vocalist. I am very thoroughly I'm very thoroughly a tenor, but... Okay. Let's try this with the volume crank, because I like that overdrive signal. Oh my god, that is filthy! understand what this guy used this as an amp. That sounds goddamn amazing. That is, that is... <laughs> Mother of God. That is amazing. That sound, I know it's overdriven to hell and it's just straight fuzz, but... Ah! Okay. God, I'll be recording this for like hours if I don't stop myself. <laughs> Um, 
How about I actually get about uh, putting some tape on this? Damn, I like this thing a lot. I have never, uh, I never worked with a real to real machine before, so we're gonna do this as carefully as humanly possible, and while using the uh, the simplified Wilcox Gay Recordio instructions as reference. Um, <clears throat> so this is my intake, right, or uptake. Uh, this is the part I'm really nervous about, where I make use of my magnetic tape. Uh, ATR Magnetics makes it. I actually have a second uh, blank uh, one of these reels coming in. Um, not a tape reel, but a, an uptake reel. Because while this one is all fine and dandy, it's kind of a, a cheapo one I bought. Um, very apparent that I have never done this before. I need to get one side of the tape on here that is reverse of what this reel is. So I'm realizing I can't just flip the reel. Oh, it's like I have no idea what the hell I am doing. Oh boy. Okay. We're gonna try this. Dangerously, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna have to rewind this reel of tape. If this works, yay, it works. If it doesn't work, oh no. Because this, um, this reel tape is expensive. Uh, I believe this cost me like 40 bucks to, uh, to get? 35, 40 bucks? It is very not cheap. It's like this is a really expensive uh, medium to work in or something. This is very difficult. I'm sure if I wander on like Heinbox channel, he has a trick for this. But this isn't Hindbox channel, this is Seibel's channel, where I just kind of dive in head first and I scream internally as I work. And I'm sure somewhere out there, there is somebody screaming at me for mishandling all this expensive ass tape. Okay, I think we're spooled. Alright. So I'm gonna get this power back up, and we're gonna see what happens. That is nerve-wracking. Okay. Extremely nerve-wracking doing this. I think I got this. I think I got this working and figured out. I just need to record something to it. But maybe I'll start with recording some guitar work. This might take a while. It's like it's a lot bigger than a cassette. I mean, I figure I can overwrite this like I can with a cassette and just wipe it clean with blank recording. Because there should be an erase head in here. I can speed this up. This would be really fun if I make some loop tape too, because it would be a lot easier to do it on a reel to reel than with a cassette. God, this thing is cool. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's find out what this sounds like. Okay, so let's, um... Let's try that without it being so violently loud. Okay, I, I, damn, I, uh, I'm not getting rid of this machine. <laughs> when, I, when I bought this, I got it for 35 bucks on Reverb, and my idea was, okay, I was going to fix it up, and I was going to flip it, 
but I was going to try it out first to see if real the real was my thing. Um, I'm not selling this. You mind now? I am, I am, like, really, really caught off guard by how f just friggin' awesome this thing is. Like, it's just, it's a different, it's a different sound. It's not the lo-fi warble that I was expecting. I mean, I knew working on reel to reel, warble is almost non-existent. It's a very smooth medium to work with. It doesn't have the slack issues that cassettes can have, which, for better or for worse, lo-fi, really good. But yeah, no, just hearing the sound coming out of the tube amp inside of this, like anything working with tube, especially something as old as this. Wow. I'm just, I am at a loss for words. This thing is really just awesome. I am in a really good mood. <laughs> like, I know this just seems like me fanboying a little bit over a piece of vintage equipment, but for me, this is, this is really cool because the style of music I do is like an anachronism. I've got all these different elements from different time periods, and this machine is from, uh, from what I was researching, it's, they started manufacturing these models in 1939. This is pre-World War II equipment. But this is, it's just, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm gonna be able to blend another, another time period's sound in with my music, so I can get that really, you know, pre-World War II sound blended in with the 60s, 70s, 80s cassette sound blended in with the modern synthesizers and the guitar work yeah, I, I like to use and it's just I'm really excited <laughs> I, know I'm, I know I'm rambling and I keep saying it over and over but there's really nothing else I can say about it I'm this is really damn cool so while I let this rewind uh, it's a Seibel Signing off. I'll see you guys the next time I come up with a video. Probably something to do with this thing. Mother of God, I am having fun. See ya.